Welcome to the second round in a series of Virtua Fighter retrospective videos. How do you follow up a game that changed the world? Who would even dare try? Sega would. Virtua Fighter 2 hit Japanese arcades in 1994, barely a year after the original rewrote the fighting game rulebook and ran on Sega's industry-leading Model 2 arcade board. This technological leap enabled Yu Suzuki's team at AM2 to create highly detailed and fully texture-mapped character models, all moving at a silky smooth 60 frames per second. The motion-captured fighters, and Virtua Fighter 2 was one of the very first games to ever use that technique, battling each other in arenas that felt more real than ever before. Each location whisking players away to an awe-inspiring new location, brimming with 3D background details, surrounding them with Sarah's lightning-lit coliseum, or floating them along on newcomer Shun's incredible raft ride. As you all know, Shun D wasn't the only new competitor to join Virtua Fighter's iconic cast of fighters. Leon Raphael debuted here too, bringing Brain Mana style kung fu to the game. To keep everything perfectly balanced, the original cast all had their fighting styles expanded and refined as well, allowing for more control and deeper tactics than ever before, yet all still performed using the same intuitive three-button control scheme pioneered by the original game. A game this good couldn't be kept in arcades alone for long, and in 1995, proud Saturn owners were able to buy a port handcrafted by AM2 themselves ensuring that the only way to play a more accurate version of Virtua Fighter 2 for years to come was to buy your very own arcade machine. Two years later, the game made the leap to PC, and after that, wouldn't be seen again until 2004, when it appeared as Volume 16 of the Japan-only Sega Ages 2500 series for the PlayStation 2, an all-new conversion designed to be virtually indistinguishable from the original arcade machine. With the series' popularity still burning brightly all over the world, this arcade classic returned as part of 2012's Model 2 collection for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and since then has reappeared in the Yakuza Series Club Sega three times, bringing the game's fighting spirit to a whole new generation. As if that wasn't already enough, the entire cast received an adorable makeover for the arcade, and Saturn title Virtua Fighter Kids and were shrunk down in a different way for the Game Gear anime tie-in Virtua Fighter Mini and had two different digital art collections as well. A slick set of CGI renders of the full roster on Saturn and cute portable portrait packages for Akira and Pi on the Game Gear. There's something else we're forgetting here, isn't there? Oh, that's right. Never one to be left out, the Genesis had its very own custom-built 2D reimagining of Virtua Fighter 2, released in the US in 1997, ensuring as many Sega supporters as possible got to play one of the hottest arcade experiences of the 90s, and Virtua Fighter fans had a brand new, old way to play this incredible title. Virtua Fighter 2 didn't just live up to the impossibly high expectations set by the first game, it exceeded them proving once again that the gold standard of arcade gaming was wherever Sega decided it should be. Join us next time when we'll be taking a look at Virtua Fighter 3.